Hey, if you're looking to move to Saskatoon and you're interested in living in a stunning neighborhood filled with a whole bunch of activities and a bustling community, I'm going to share with you my top three core neighborhoods in Saskatoon. Hi, my name is Angela Pirelli and I'm your local realtor with eXp Realty. I specialize in helping homeowners in Saskatoon's core neighborhoods sell their home for top market value in a timely manner. So in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm going to talk about the three top neighborhoods in Saskatoon and we're gonna take a drive through and take a look at what they look like. So before I get into the video, let me tell you about my experience living in Saskatoon. I grew up in the southern part of Saskatchewan on a grain farm and then traveled for a few years before moving to Saskatoon in 1998. From the places I've traveled, I'm always happy to get back to Saskatoon and call it home. There's seriously a million things you can do here. You can go hiking, cycling, running, swimming, dancing, and so much more. You can go explore the downtown core, or you can enjoy the South Saskatchewan River or the Miwasan Trails, or take in the exhibits at the Remy Art Museum. It's truly amazing. Okay, so the neighborhoods that I'm going to show you today, they're some of the most sought after areas in Saskatoon. So you'll need to work with a good local agent who can help you find a property in these neighborhoods. Okay, without further ado, let me show you my top three neighborhoods in Saskatoon. Okay, so number one on my list would be Nutana. You can see that there's absolutely gorgeous tree-lined streets here. We've got some old world charm style houses. All the way through, we've got a lot of new construction going on. A lot of restoration projects. And as we get further down on the street here, see the mix of modern as well. A new build right beside a almost a 70s vibe. Some more construction going on here. Lots of restoration in this area. It's got that original charm being a lot of new world style. Coming up on our right you're gonna see one of Saskatoon's luxury high-rise condos. Some absolutely gorgeous penthouse units in here that overlook the river. The main floor, really progressive townhouse style units. All right, so coming down to Saskatchewan Crescent, you can see high rises there across the bridge. And on our left side here is a tree lined street with walking paths, part of the Mawasan Trail that goes all the way around the river. Yeah, glimpses of the river through different spots here. It's just quite full at the moment with all the trees. There we go. It's a bit of an idea right there. It's a gorgeous landscape. And then to our right, just doing some work in the area. To our right, you see a lot of very high end multi-million dollar homes that all overlook the river here. Okay, the other reason we love Nutana is that you have the Broadway district. So Broadway has all sorts of eateries, uh, bars, restaurants. They do a lot of just kind of trendy places as well. There's a few living areas down here. For example, let's see, they hold their own street festivals, street fairs. To our right here, we have one of our local businesses has a spot set up, Close Cafe, you've got Prairie Sun Brewery and restaurant right beside it. So pretty much when you're in Nutana, you are in walking distance to a variety of shops that include wood-fired pizza, authentic Italian gelato, a bakery, specialty pizza, you name it, you can find it down here. It's another reason that Nutana makes my top three list. Okay, so while we've looked at some of the multi-million dollar homes that are in Nutana down close to the river, you've also got a wide variety of more affordable homes down more in that three to four hundred thousand dollar range. When they're in good shape, they do sell really quickly because it's such a popular neighborhood. We also have options for condo living, underground parking, and again, all ranges. Last but not least, lots of local parks and schools as well. Okay, so that was a quick look at Nutana. Uh, Nutana has access via three bridges to get downtown. So there's lots of little loops or 
places like that if you like running or walking you can do different paths along there we drove down a little bit of Broadway. Broadway has a lot of different studios, art studios, yoga studios. We talked about the restaurants and things like that. University Drive and Saskatchewan Crescent have your really high-end properties and as you get further back into the area they become a little bit more affordable. So huge variety but excellent walking distance to downtown, to the core. If you need to get to university you can from Newtown as well. It's decently close but we do have one more neighborhood and that's what we're bringing into next. Number two on our list is Varsity View. It's bordering the University of Saskatchewan and Varsity View is home to a whole bunch of gorgeous character homes as well all the way from the century up to some big infills as well. This area is home to a lot of students or busy professionals, a lot of doctors, people who are training at the hospital. We have a children's hospital, a teaching hospital, a vet clinic. A lot of these people like to live in close proximity to the university so they can walk to and from work. So the university lands, they offer more than just a place for students and faculty. They're actually also a great place that feature walking paths that lead back along the river and those are enjoyed by so many locals all year round. So Varsity View is the ideal place to be if you're students, like we said, staff at the hospital, the university. It's going to be great access for you, access to the downtown core, access to work. You can always stop in at Philosophy for lunch, grab a coffee on your way. This is another really bustling activity, or sorry, a really bustling neighborhood. Let's go take a look at it. Turning onto College Drive, you're going to see on your right a little bit more of like business hybrid there. There's a lot of uh, places for people to stay if they have family that are sick or in the hospital. On the other side, you can see university itself all the different buildings there college drive borders the north end of our CD view so you can see why this is so popular for all the professionals that have anything to do with the university with the hospital with the vet college we do also have a huskies football team soccer team lots of different activities that way that are constantly going on here as well that's philosophy restaurant to our left behind the trees are a whole bunch of um, university residences and then we get back into residential for the most of our CU. similar idea you've got anywhere from very very base you're usually at least into the 300,000s often more than that and then the houses go up to well into the millions again lots of variety there lots of good schools excellent access to the river quick look at a few of the houses in our city view. A older home that's had a nice renovation. A couple of brand new infills. A couple of brand new infills. And they are right across from the school. Lots of rental options as well with all the students in the area. Again, in North When somebody can get a 50 foot lot, it's either bought up in order to put a big house on it or our builders grab them, split them into two and sell some smaller homes. So now this is a very unique park in Varsity. It's the only one like it in the area. This is Wiggins Park. This park is just thick with evergreens. And while we do have evergreens here in Saskatoon, it's not often that you see a huge, huge clump of them like this. So this is just kind of a cool park. It's very shaded all the time, green all year round with the evergreens are just nice. Whether or not you can see it back in there, there's a great little playground as well. On the left, we have some infills in a brownstone style when those are trading hands. Um, they went anywhere from six, seven hundred thousand up to about a million per side. And right next door, you have what was probably about a 40s build little house that's still very well kept. So that right there gives you a good idea on the huge variety of our city view. Absolutely gorgeous neighborhood again. Great for walkability and really popular with families and professionals. This is going to bring us to our third neighborhood. The third neighborhood is City Park. It is on the other side of the river. So we're just going to cross the river here and go take a look at that. So as you come across the bridge, the area to the right is going to be City Park. City Park. Again, borders the other side of the river. It's amazing for walking. This is right adjacent to our downtown central core area. And 
next to City Hospital. City Park is nice and close to the Nutrient Playland where we have a Ferris wheel, a train, a merry-go-round, lots of things for kids to play on. We have the Wonder Hub Kids Museum. Spadina carries us all the way up to the north end, but today we'll just stop and we'll take a look in City Park. So this core neighborhood features a blend of residential, commercial, and kind of mixed-use spaces. It borders our South Saskatchewan River, parks, walking paths, and residents can enjoy nature pretty much any time very short walk to get to nature. We've got character homes as well as modern infills, again local breweries, restaurants, bakeries are all scattered throughout the neighborhood. It's a perfect spot to try opening your own business because with the mixed use zoning you can find an area that's got a really unique space in order to set up shop. So City Park is one of Saskatoon's original neighborhoods. It continues to attract families, executives, people working down at City Hospital or even looking downtown living or working downtown. So if you love core living this is definitely a great option to check out. Let's take a look around. Okay we'll take a quick look here at See some of the original character homes on both sides. All the way through to an example of one of the modern infills. So you're gonna see this is very consistent in a lot of our core neighborhoods, which I think is common in many cities. Get a lot of new builds going up, very modern. Mixed in with the old. And then down on the corner here is one of the buildings. This old house is actually business. So we've got a few like that where it's just a really, really cool space that is zoned for mixed use. So that's a quick look at City Park. If you love core living, this is definitely a great option to check out. So if there are any other areas of Saskatoon that are of interest to you, don't hesitate to reach out. My email is Angela at saskatoon.homes and my phone number is 306-291-4664. You can also direct message me on Facebook or Instagram. My username is at Real Estate Agent YXE. And even if you're not looking to buy or sell a home right now, but you want to learn more about the pro, but you want to learn more about the market, the process, mistakes to avoid, and best practices to do, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I create a lot of educational content. And click on the bell icon so you can get notified when a new video comes out. Or again, just reach out. I love helping people and I love real estate. Thanks for watching. I'm Angela Pirelli with eXp Realty.